So Dean, this is the BCG trial site. Yep. And what we're doing is really trying to, to understand the level of resistance developing yep. uh, in paddocks for, for radish. So we're in a, uh, a very high pressure situation here. Yep. You know, not only radish, we've got a lot of cape weed there. Brome grass. Uh, brome grass as well. This paddock here is obviously high radish numbers, yep. uh, big use of group B, yep. uh, big use of group I, yep. Yep. and those two groups are actually having plenty of escapes and, yep. and that's a real worry. The, the other thing we've seen here is the group F escape, so that's a bit of a worry as well. So group B yep. is getting way overused, isn't it, really? Oh, like, yeah, it, yep. and the group I's, the LVEs and, and so forth, and the eclipses, they're not, they're not working at all. There's a lot of green plants in them, and if anything, they've suppressed them, but they're all going to set flower and they're going to set seeds. So we're really trying to jump in, getting early control yep. of radish, yep. and the products that work really well then, and the products that don't work very well late on yeah. the big radish. The Velocity did a very, very good job. Early on, that did have plenty of radish there, Right. That's spraying, yep. uh, and it sub subsequently got these other little plants that are coming through. We're probably hoping the crop competition is going to help out a bit, but if we do get a wet spring, any of these later germinations, if not controlled, would set seed. Right. So that's why we definitely need, even with velocity, a second spray strategy. The other really interesting point is here, by getting rid of that, that earlier germinating radish, you're giving the best opportunity for the group I and Bs to work on these smaller radish when, when you come and spray them, yep. because yep. they are small. Flight has worked very, very well, similar to velocity, but I guess the message we're trying to get to our members and our growers is think about modes of action. And flight has got F, uh, C, and I. So, as a comparison to velocity, it certainly had the same effect. But if I want to now come in with a, with a group I, A mine, and, and a B, well, I've used the A mine twice, whereas with the velocity, I'm only using group H and C, so two chemicals I'm not going to use later on in terms of mode of action. So, velocity has got a better fit early on. Would it be fair enough to say that a lot of growers really need to be actually going back and if they've used group I, group B and group Fs and they've got escapes, they've got to work out where they're at with this resistance problem. It's also the agronomist has to be game enough to tell him, spend the money now on premier products yep. rather than be down the track where all we're relying on is the premier products yep. and that they will fall down eventually too if, if overused. That's right. So the herbicide resistance message is to use as many herbicides as you can of different modes of actions to tackle the weed as best possible yep. rather than worry about the individual year cost because it's going to cost you a lot more down the track. And if we can get guys to spend you know, another 5 to $10 on a chemical yep. in the cereal phase to take the pressure off those chemicals we really need in the pulse, yep. then we're going to find the system is more robust and more sustainable heading into the future.